Hi, it's Seth Komen from Modern Domainer Magazine. I'm here at the Traffic Conference, Miami 2007. I'm here with Robin Granite. How are you doing today, Robin? I'm doing well, thank you. Okay. Exciting uh, to be here. <laughs> okay. First question we have for you today, Robin. Um, what is your niche in the domaining industry? Well, my passion for about 27 years has been really healthy eating, and I own a business called Alternative Eating. I had actually gotten my first domain maybe about seven years ago and didn't quite catch what that link could do. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm out to change the world one bite at a time. And when I finally realized that I could own that which I was passionate about, mm -hmm. I don't think any other, nothing else has given me this opportunity. Okay. And uh, in the land of the web and mm -hmm. uh, the internet, it's uh, pretty exciting to be on the new frontier of this. Uh, do you have many uh, domains uh, regarding healthy eating and that of that style? And surprisingly, yes. When I when I realized over the last year and a half, I presently own about 1,200. That these were links that were about to connect to who knows where, and mm -hmm. that I could own that passion and that language that I love. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, uh, when did you start domaining, and how long have you been domaining? Uh, really, about the last year and a half. It's been, and I have diversified. I own other uh, names now. It's exciting to pull the lever and see that you can actually connect to sports and gambling and politics, and that you own these names. Yeah. Did you have a eureka moment, like a time when you everything just was clear for you? Well, GoDaddy has been my um, source of support, mm -hmm. and I think when they made me an executive member, I realized I was in the game. Okay. Okay. Um, why do you do this? Why do you, what, did, what, what makes domaining interesting to you? Well, the possibilities are endless. I mean, mm -hmm. This is the new frontier, so mm -hmm. I really believe that um, there could be a lot of, um, a lot of money involved mm -hmm. and a long-term connection to, again, your passion, what you love. You own it. Right. Yeah. Um, what have you learned so far in the industry? What's some things that have stand out? Uh, initially, when I started buying domains, of course, you I uh, spent a, too much time on lengthy sentences, mm -hmm. and of course, shorter is better. Right. Now, a respect for trademarking. Uh, you, initially, you could buy a domain and think that, well, you could sell it back to the company who owns right. it. So the surprise was you can't. Um, I also noticed that there aren't a lot of women involved yet, mm -hmm. so it's just pretty exciting to be here and realize this is. We're at the bottom level of what mm -hmm. is unknown, and right. that's uh, pretty exciting. Okay. Um, what brought you here to traffic, and uh, um, what's, what do you think's you know getting you things noticed the most? Well, owning is one thing; selling is another. And uh, you know, this is the arena that you can kind of come to learn a whole lot about now what you can do with what you have, what you own. Right. That's mm -hmm. right. Okay, Robin, the last question um, uh, we have for you is uh, uh, how, how many domains are in your portfolio? How many total do you own? About 1,200. 1,200. Okay. And uh, it's still fun because you can still buy great domains. Very often you'll, you'll type something in and you'll expect to be able to get it, and you don't. Or you can, you can type it in and not believe that it's still available. Mm -hmm. I understand that around 90,000 domains are being bought a day. And yet there are there are so many names still available. It's only limited by your imagination. But your own language is amazing. Hi, <laughs> right, Robin. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Bye.